I have a college football 100% ATS betting angle on Monday night's matchup in the ACC between the Boston College Eagles and the Florida State Seminoles. That game, like I said, Monday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time in Tallahassee. And right now, Florida State is a 16.5 point favorite in that game. Before I get to that betting angle, my analysis on the game and the actual pick, Couple noteworthy items, folks. 10 and 5 with my last 15 free pick videos right here at Wager Talk TV. I don't want to star my forehead, but if you could be kind enough to just hit that like button as a token of your appreciation, I certainly would appreciate it. And the folks over at Wager Talk TV, that would make them happy and keeps these videos absolutely free. Also, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, which is Wager Talk TV, Please take a second to do so. It costs you absolutely nothing, 100% free. And while you're at it, folks, go into your YouTube settings and click on that alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our podcasts, free pick videos such as this, or uh, instructional videos from some of the world's best sports betting experts you'll find anywhere, and uh, you'll be notified immediately by doing so. Okay, so... Um, we're going to touch upon that game and get to the, like I like to say, the meat and potatoes. Um, I already mentioned that it's uh, Florida State minus 16 and a half as we speak. And I am recording on Thursday, August the 29th. And this game doesn't go for another 72 hours. So keep that in mind when viewing the video because this line could be subject to change. Florida State has won 10 straight at home and did so by a decisive margin of 27.4 points per game. Uh, The Seminoles are also 5-0 straight up and and 4-1 against the spread in their last five versus Boston College, and that includes 3-0 straight up in ATS in their last three at home versus Boston College, and they won those three contests by a decisive margin of 23 points per game. Now, uh, Florida State's coming off a terrible loss in game one. They they lose their season opener in Dublin, Ireland, 24-21 to Georgia Tech in a game they closed as a 10.5-point favored. Um, not a lot of people expected that to happen, but, uh, you know, again, not only didn't they cover, but they lost the game outright, and they're going to be in an unremoved mood playing at home because the bottom line is this, folks. Um, they were number 10 in the country in the preseason poll. So a lot of people think they had a realistic chance to get to the 12 team playoff at the end of the year, and they could ill afford to lose back to back games as double digit favorites, uh, to start the season that would just about eliminate them from any consideration. And secondly, um, that don't be scared of this 16 and a half point favorite, uh, spread because, I believe Florida State's not only going to win, but they're going to come out with a vengeance and they're going to put Boston College to bed early. Having said all that, um, Boston College is playing in their season opener. Uh, They lost their last two season openers to the likes of Northern Illinois and Rutgers, not exactly the caliber opponent they'll be playing on Monday night. Both of those games, they were home favorites, so they have not got off to a good start the last two years and and started the season with some disappointing losses. Now, having said that, they have a new head coach, a proven one, and Bill O'Brien, former offensive coordinator for the New England Patriots, former head coach at Penn State. And uh, But, you know, they have a lot of returning starters, and 17 of them. But the bottom line is still – Uh, You're looking at new schemes, whether it be offensively, defensively, or both. And uh, again, a new coaching staff. And I just foresee the Eagles having a little bit of early growing pains out of the gate. And uh, they're in tough in in Tallahassee against Florida State on Monday night. Now, here's my betting angle on this game. It's not a huge sample size, but it's proven. Uh, anytime you have a home favorite of 10 or more like Florida State that's coming off a straight up an ATS loss in which they failed to cover by six points or greater, and they're facing an opponent that's playing in their season opener, and that opponent has won nine or fewer of their last 22 games. Boston College, by the way, nine and 13 in their last 22. Those home favorites of 10 or more in this exact situation 
have gone seven and zero straight up in ATS since 1984, uh, with an average victory margin of 36.9 points per game. So not only have they won these games, they've averaged winning them by five touchdowns and uh, or more, a little over five touchdowns, I should say. And again, folks, um, just to be clear, this is not a betting trend. It's a betting angle. And remember, betting trends deal with specific teams. Betting angles deal with all teams in a specific situation or situations in this case. Florida State minus 16 and a half over BC for me on Monday night, which would be uh, September the 1st. September the 1st? No, September the 2nd. Uh, boy, these days all blend in together when you work every day. In any event, folks, another friendly reminder, college football last year finished down to 10 and 3 and 62, 62 and 42 runs. Um, again, and that 62 and 42 run produced a net profit of over $4,000 based on $100 bet per unit. Uh, finished number two overall at Wager Talk in college football. And you can get my college football annual package right now for just $529. If you want to add in the NFL, uh, just uh, add in the NFL for another $270. You've got an NFL and college football for the entire year, right through the college football playoffs and right through the Super Bowl for just $799. Again, uh, it's a small price to pay to make a lot of money. So uh, number two also and money earned NFL and college football combined a season ago. You can get those right now, wt.buzz slash RB. Another great special to mention, three weeks for the price of two uh, for our all-inclusive package. You get that for $198. That's a savings of $99, 21 days. All access pass, all sports, all handicap, or uh, any handicapper, I should say. And uh, that's... Uh, amounts to less than $10 a day. So until the next time, which will be tomorrow, I'll be back with a Major League Baseball free pick. Take care and God bless, folks.